Legacy of Justice Hazrat Ali's reign as caliph Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, the cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad, holds a revered status in Islamic history for his piety, wisdom, and unwavering commitment to justice and righteousness. His life and legacy, particularly his governance, the trials he faced during the fitness, civil wars, and his tragic assassination, serve as a testament to his profound impact on Islam and its followers. In Islamic history, there exists a figure whose legacy transcends time, inspiring generations with his unwavering commitment to justice, compassion, and righteousness. Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him images as a beacon of moral fortitude amidst the tumultuous currents of the early Islamic period. As the fourth caliph of the Rashidun Caliphate, Hazrat Ali's, may Allah be pleased with him, reign is not merely a chapter in history, but a saga of resilience, leadership, and devotion to the principles of Islam. Journey with us as we unravel the legacy of Hazrat Ali's. May Allah be pleased with him, exploring the triumphs, trials, and timeless lessons of his noble caliphate. Moving ahead with our video to explore further topic, we request you to kindly subscribe our channel for videos on Islamic history. Hazrat Hazrat Ali May Allah be pleased with him, governance during his caliphate, 656-661 CE, was marked by his dedication to upholding Islamic principles and ensuring social justice. As the fourth caliph of the Rashidun Caliphate, he inherited a fragmented Muslim community beset by internal strife and dissent. Despite these challenges, his leadership was characterized by emphasis on fairness, compassion, and consultation, shura. In line with the teachings of Islam, and the examples set by his predecessors. During his reign, he prioritized the welfare of the Muslim community, implementing various social welfare programs to alleviate poverty and inequality. He continued the practices of his predecessors, Abu Bakr Raz, Umar Raz, and Uthman Rai, in providing stipends to the poor, establishing welfare systems, and promoting equitable distribution of wealth. Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him, also focused on education and enlightenment, recognizing the importance of knowledge in fostering a just and prosperous society. He patronized scholars and established educational institutions to promote learning and scholarship, contributing to the intellectual development of the Muslim Ummah. However, Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him, caliphate was marred by internal discord and conflict, particularly the first fitna. 656-661 CE, a series of civil wars that erupted shortly after his ascension to power. The primary source of contention was the assassination of his predecessor, Uthman ibn Affan Raa, which led to widespread unrest and division within the Muslim community. Ali's efforts to address the grievances and restore order were met with resistance from various factions, including those loyal to Uthman's family and supporters of the rebel leader, Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan. Despite his earnest attempts at reconciliation and arbitration, he found himself embroiled in a protracted struggle for legitimacy and authority. The Battle of the Camel, also known as the Battle of Jamal, was sparked by the assassination of the third caliph, Uthman ibn Affan, and the subsequent call for justice by Hazrat Aisha, the Prophet Muhammad's widow, and other prominent companions of the Prophet. They accused Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, of failing to bring the perpetrators of Uthman's murder to justice. The conflict primarily involved two factions. The supporters of Hazrat Ali, led by him, and the opposing coalition, comprising Aisha, Talha, and Zubair, who rallied around the demand for retribution for Uthman's death. The battle acquired its name from the presence of Hazrat Aisha, who famously rode a camel onto the battlefield. The battle took place near Basra, Iraq. It was a fiercely contested engagement, characterized by intense fighting and casualties on both sides. Despite Hazrat Ali's efforts to avoid bloodshed and negotiate a peaceful resolution, the battle ensued, resulting in a victory for Ali's forces. 
Talha and Zubair were killed in the battle, while Hazrat Aisha was safely escorted back to Medina. The Battle of the Camel exacerbated the divisions within the Muslim community and intensified the tensions between different factions. While Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him emerged victorious, the conflict left a deep scar on the Muslim Ummah, underscoring the challenges of unity and reconciliation in the aftermath of Uthman's assassination. The Battle of Sifan was a continuation of the power struggle that ensued after the Battle of the Camel. It stemmed from the refusal of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, the governor of Syria, and a prominent figure in the Umayyad clan, to pledge allegiance to Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him as the rightful caliph. The dispute escalated into open confrontation, leading to the Battle of Sifan. The conflict involved Hazrat Ali's forces, representing his claim to the caliphate and the principles of justice and legitimacy, and Muawiyah's army, supported by disgruntled factions seeking vengeance for Uthman's death and disillusioned with Ali's leadership. The Battle of Sifan took place near the Euphrates River in present-day Syria. It was a protracted and bloody conflict characterized by tactical maneuvers, skirmishes, and negotiations. Despite several attempts at mediation and arbitration, the battle raged on for months, resulting in heavy casualties and significant loss of life on both sides. The Battle of Sifan ended inconclusively, with neither side achieving a decisive victory. Eventually, a truce known as the Treaty of Hudaybiyah was negotiated, stipulating a cessation of hostilities and the appointment of arbitrators to resolve the dispute. However, the failure to implement the terms of the treaty effectively deepened the divisions within the Muslim community and set the stage for further conflicts and schisms in later years. Tragically, Hazrat Ali's pursuit of justice and peace ultimately cost him his life. In 661 CE, while leading the dawn prayer at the great mosque of Kufa, he was fatally wounded by Abdul Rahman ibn Muljam, a member of a dissident group seeking retribution for the violence of the fitna. The assassination not only deprived the Muslim community of a righteous leader, but also intensified the political turmoil and sectarian strife that characterized the early Islamic period. Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, governance, marked by his commitment to justice, compassion and equitable governance, exemplifies the ideals of Islamic leadership. Despite facing formidable challenges and enduring personal hardships, Hazrat Ali may Allah be pleased with him, remained steadfast in his devotion to Islam and the welfare of the Muslim Ummah. His legacy continues to inspire Muslims around the world, serving as a beacon of righteousness and resilience in the face of adversity. If you like this video, please share and comment and also subscribe the channel. The Battle of the Camel and the Battle of Sifin were seminal events that underscored the complexities and challenges of leadership and unity in early Islamic history. These conflicts, rooted in political rivalries, ideological differences and grievances over the legacy of Prophet Muhammad and the early caliphs, left a lasting impact on the Muslim Ummah, shaping the course of Islamic governance and sectarian divisions for centuries to come. Thank you for watch. See you with another video very soon.